What's going on, his squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all our Zuri, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Thursday. I always Thursday, June 10th, and as I say, each and every video smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way and if you're watching just browsing just checking out the channel just checking out the cycles just checking out me in general make sure you guys subscribe <laughs> that's the main part subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can become a part of the hit squad and get each and every video i put out each and every day because i do put out videos every day um, if you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. How to spell that will be in the left hand corner of your screen. And there's a hashtag below the video, and it's down in the description box below. <laughs> Today, Madame Nazar is back over here in the desert. She's way down here. She's right here. Near the Snoopy head. Don't that look like a Snoopy to you guys? It looks like a Snoopy to me. Anywho, she's down here. And how I get to the camp when she's down here in this area is I move my camp or when I, how I get to her camp when I'm down here in this area. I try to move my camp down here in Rio Bravo. Uh, you can try Gap Tooth Ridge, but Rio Bravo is the one you want to get to. Try to put your camp down here. You may get lucky and get spots like I've been getting the last couple times. She has spawned down here. This is a good spot right here. I just basically ran across the, the little grass area over here and ran directly to her. But there's also a spot over here. There's a spot up here. Uh, it's spots all, all around this whole little area. But you want to get one near the Snoopy head. Um, but... That's how I get to her when she's in this area because if you're running from Armadillo, you're running from, from all the way up here. If you're running from Tumbleweed, you're running from all the way up here. You have to go down and around and all this. Just to get to her. There's no fast travel near her. So just move your camp down here. And the next thing I want to get to is the Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle. The Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle is mainly i tell you guys that mainly because it's one of the ingredients for one of the moonshine uh recipes so that's why i tell you guys the caribbean rum and someone asked me like where was it can i help them find it they didn't know like where it is because it changes every day but today the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle is right inside this building I suggest you guys fast travel to Coulter and go. You should spawn around in this area somewhere. When you do spawn, just go directly into this house. And it's directly to your left, I think, on a counter. I mean, on a in a cabinet or something like that. But there's also a couple more or a couple other things over here as well. This is the house that you go in for the Caribbean Romantic Alcohol Bottle. It's a cabinet directly next to the door. And right over here, right about there inside this uh, hall or church or whatever you want to call it, there's a table. And on that table, you guys will find a seven of wands. And right about here, there's a tree. Well, no, it's not a tree. It's a, I guess it may be a tree stump around this area or something like that. But come over here at this exact location with your metal detector. You guys will get a random fossil. And for the fossils, remember, guys, you have to be a level 15 in the moon, in, not in the moon, sorry, in the collectors to be able to, to access the random fossils. So you have to be a level 15 to be able to even you know detect the, the fossils so if, if i tell you there's a fossil there you may not be able to get it if you're not a 15 and higher in the collector row all right there's another 
there's another item up here and it's a bird egg this bird egg is right here if you guys can see all the little indentations or all the little markings on the map uh, i hope you guys can figure it out but right about here there's a hawk egg and this hawk is egg is in a tree you shoot these eggs down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow that's the only way you can get them down. If you don't shoot them down that way, you will destroy them. And it'll be a waste of time even coming to the location. Okay, let's get down to where we normally do business. There's a lot of fossils up here, by the way, if you are looking for fossils. There's always a lot of fossils like in the snow, snowy area up here. So check the link in the description box below and i tried to i made a video trying to help you guys find as many of the fossils as i i mean the, all the fossils on every cycle but let's get down here to where we normally do business uh the lemoyne area of the map i do have one all the way up there we're gonna block that one out the cycles for today thursday june 10th are Family Heirloom Cycle 1, All Large Jury Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 5, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 6, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 1, All Terror Card Cycle 4, Bird Egg Cycle 1, and Fossil Cycle 3. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Just in case you guys want to keep in track, keep up with the channel and or keep track of the channel and any other updates that i have for you guys especially madame nazar when she changes her spot every day at uh, 2 a.m eastern standard time uh let's get to these things that we will find across the lemoyne area of the map we're going to start not right here we're going to start above this one there's a marker i mean there's a um not a marker but a location right up here it's like a triangle like a dorito or whatever <laughs> right here at this location right below the triangle right there at the corner there's a clothesline right here at this location and right in the middle of that clothesline pull out your metal detector and you will get a random coin i cannot tell you what coin you will get because it is randomized remember that um i'm gonna go i'm gonna bounce over here to this house if you can you can just follow that red line over here to this location but right here inside this house you guys will get a magnate turquoise ring which is on top of the fireplace when you go inside the house and on the table inside the house there's a six of pentacles tarot card as well let's go down here to right between the legs of this w right here at this location along the shoreline there's a boat and on the go on the boat and go through the door when you go in through the door look for the wash area which is like a bowl with a mirror in front of it and right next to that bowl you guys will get a ivory comb which is a family heirloom let's go to let's go over here right here at this location right there across the Kamasa River super close to this square right here pull out your metal detector and you guys will get another random coin this random coin is right is like really close to this I guess moonshine camp or whatever you want to call it so just pull out your, your metal detector right here at that location and that's what you will get a random coin there's also a random lost jury right there right about there i know there's like a big branch like it fell off out of the one of the trees or whatever laying here but on one one of those sides of that branch you guys will get a random lost jury let's go over here which there are about four things at this location right here right here where this marker is i'm gonna say about right here right there at that location you guys will get a bird egg this bird egg is a heron egg h-e-r-o-n 
It's in a tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Uh, at the back of the house, before you go in, there's a random lost jury at this location. Come behind the house with your metal detector and you guys will get a random lost jury. I cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized. Inside the house, there are two things. One is a Scotch whiskey antique alcohol bottle. This Scotch whiskey bottle is on the table to the right as soon as you walk into the shack. Like almost directly to your right on the table with all the uh, candles and stuff. It's right there at that location. And if you go up a little bit on the right as well, you will get a King of Swords tarot card inside the house. Same spot. Okay, let's go over to our next marker, which is right here. This marker is underneath the bridge. Like if you see this rectangle, this is a bridge. And underneath the bridge, pull out your metal detector and you guys will get another random coin. I cannot tell you which one you will get, but come over here at this location and that's what it will be, a random coin. Over at our next marker, you guys will get a family heirloom, which is on the back porch or deck of this home. But right here at this location, on the on a table on the back porch or deck, you guys will get a horse hairbrush family heirloom. You just grab it off the table, no need for digging or anything like that. Um, let's go down here to the cemetery, which there are two things here actually. Right here where our marker is, you guys will get a random, it's not a random lost jury. It's not even right there at that location. Hold on, sorry about that. Right here, you guys will get a rue pearl necklace. This rue pearl necklace is inside the fellow's grave building right here. You come over on this side of the little grave building and walk up and there's like a little shelf you grab the root pearl necklace off of it. It's like a little box. Anywho, over here, there's a card right here next to a fire pit. And this card is a two of swords. It's like on a crate next to the fire pit. Um, a couple other things. I'm going to tell you this tarot card that's right here. There's a tarot card right here at this location. It's on a box with a sheet like hanging next to it. There's a Knight of Cups tarot card right here at this location. This next marker, there's a tarot card as well. This tarot card is on a box near a fountain with a light. It's like right here in the corner. If you guys can see that. I, think, I feel like my TV is like really bright. But right here at this location, in the corner on a box, you guys will get a Four of Cups tarot card. At our next marker, I feel like all of these are kind of really close to each other you could basically run to all of these right here uh at this next marker is a antique alcohol bottle this antique alcohol bottle is a irish whiskey bottle how to get this bottle this bottle is on the second level like a uh, second level of this building it's like on the second floor how to get to the second floor there's a ladder here right here at this location Go up the ladder, walk across the path till you get about here to the end, jump across the railing, follow that little top part across to the next railing, jump over that railing, follow the path around to the bottle, which is sitting like on the ground, like in the crack of a door or whatever. You cannot go in the door. It's just in the crack of the door. Once again, that is a Irish whiskey antique alcohol bottle. Over here at our next marker, I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see exactly where I am. Right here at our next marker, you guys will find a Abello Ruby Bangle bracelet. This Abello Ruby Bangle bracelet is in a corner cabinet that's along the side of the street, like someone threw it out or something like that. But right here at this location, you, you should see the cabinet. Position yourself in front of the cabinet, you will get a prompt to open it open it and then you have to position yourself again and you'll see a uh, another prompt to grab the abella ruby bangle bracelet out of the 
the cabinet. Let's go over to our next marker, which is another family heirloom. This family heirloom is sitting right here in the Eye of Saint, or Saint, or however the French pronounce it. <laughs> right here at this location, there's a table. The table is white. There's a white table, and on that table, you guys will see a chessboard. On that chessboard, you guys will see a ivory hairpin, which is the family heirloom that you're looking for. Grab that, and let's go to the next situation, which is this next marker right here is a random fossil. This, ran this fossil was randomized as with all... I think all coins, all lost jewelry, all uh, most things that you have to dig for. Most things because there's still like a couple um, family heirlooms that you have to dig for that you that's not randomized. But right here at this location, you guys will get a random fossil. If if you're still over here in this little area, while you if you go and get this marker right here, there's a random item right here. I cannot tell you what category it's in. I cannot tell you what you will get. I cannot even hint towards what you will get. But if you come over here with your metal detector, which this is a metal detector spot, come right over here, which is a couple feet away with your metal detector as well. I guess it may be kind of underneath the bridge a little bit, but come right here at this location with the metal detector as well. And that's what you will get a random item. And once again, this marker is a random fossil. Let's go down here to our next marker, which is a cardinal flower, the cardinal flower. This cardinal, sp cardinal flower spawns over here each and every day. And it helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on, which today, that is cycle six. There's one thing inside, before we go out of this whole little area right here at this location inside this building if you can see that come over here with your metal detector right at that location and you guys will get a prompt to dig on a random lost jury i cannot tell you which one it is because it is randomized let's go over here a little bit to our next marker a uh, couple things i want to tell you about, about before we get there Right about here, outside this house of this stranger mission, there's a tree. And right around that tree, you guys will get a hit for a random coin. Remember, pull out your metal detector, and that's what you will get. Right around this big tree in this area. Right here at this marker, you guys don't need a metal detector, but there's a dig spot right here at this location, right at the edge of this cotton field or right at the end of this cotton field. Right here at this location, you guys will get a random arrowhead. I cannot tell you what it is, but I know that it's there. There's also a 10 of Pinnacles tarot card inside this house right here. And inside the Braithwaite Manor home, there's a antique alcohol bottle, which is a London dry gin bottle. Let's go up here to Rhodes. I'm going to quickly tell you guys about the couple things that are inside of Rhodes. And I think that was pretty much it for everything that I have. I don't see any more markers. But there are two things that I really wanted to tell you guys about. Or three. Over here, before you get inside of Rhodes, right there at that location in front of the, I guess, broken down outhouse or whatever that's supposed to be. Come over here with your metal detector. You guys will get a random lost jury. Come back to the saloon right here at this location. There's two rooms right here. There's a room here in this corner. And there's a room down here in this corner. The item that you're looking for is in this first corner right here. Go through the door and directly to your right. You should see an entrance into a, a bedroom. Go into that bedroom and on the chair, on the ground floor, on the chair, you guys will get a New Guinea Rosewood hairbrush. The next thing I want to tell you guys about is over here near this barn, there's a dig spot. You don't need your metal detector for it, but it's right beside this barrel 
the barrel is sitting like at the corner, like that corner right there. And right next to that corner, there's a dig spot. This dig spot is for a, another family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairpin. So go grab that. I have a couple more things to tell you guys about, which is just two. They are tarot cards. The tarot cards that I want to tell you about is one is right here. Right next to the sheriff station, there's a table. On that table, you guys will get a six of cups tarot card. And right here at this location, there's a nine of pentacles tarot card inside this little room. If you guys come over here to this location, there's a little room right here. And right inside that little room on the work table, you'll see a nine of pentacles. I feel like I just said that twice. But that's pretty much all for the extras and stuff like that. The cycles for today, once again, are, I hope you guys can see this. I'm, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more so you can see everything. But the cycles, once again, for today, Thursday, June 10th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 1, All Luxury Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 5, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 6, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 1, All Tarot Card Cycle 4, Bird Egg Cycle 1, and Fossils Cycle 3. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 1, All Luxury Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 5, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 6, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 1, All Tarot Card Cycle 4, Bird Egg Cycle 1, and Fossils cycle three remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there the cycles a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the twitter and instagram for the channel which is hitman miyagi yt uh the reason i tell you guys the cycles just a refresher i tell you guys the cycle so you guys can search up the individual videos i've started my reviews or my daily cycle updates kind of late in the game and at this point it'll be too much for me to make a individual video on each cycle because i don't know how far this game is going but search up the individual videos for each and each and every video they should tell you the locations the things have changed now where certain things like all lost jury they you can't tell where these items that you're looking for where they are so i mean that's that those are randomized the fossils are randomized the uh arrowheads are randomized the coins are ra randomized the only thing that are guaranteed are the family heirlooms the wildflowers, the antique alcohol bottles, the tarot cards, the bird eggs. All of those are guaranteed. You, you can go find those each and every day. But everything else you have to either dig for and you may get it and you may not. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. It's your main man, Hitman. Thank you guys for watching, sharing, commenting. Um... <laughs> subscribing all the other good stuff i do appreciate i try to say it each and every video i don't even know if people look at the videos past me saying the cycles but i do appreciate you guys clicking on the video and at least clicking on the video that's <laughs> that's all that matters to me anywho it's your main man hitman once again with another video and i'm out